we got a huge update in the world of AI video. This tool lets you generate not just single shots, but it will generate an entire YouTube video or movie. One with multiple clips, a storyline, a voiceover, and music, all fully edited with transitions and captions, all from a single prompt. I'll jump right in here and generate a bunch of different examples so you can see how it does across different styles. This is NVIDIA AI. They've been around for a while and they used to do something similar, but it would pull in stock clips. That's still an option here, but with the new update, it can generate every clip. This is the prompt box where you can start from scratch. Down below, there's a few options to choose from, or you can click explore all flows, and there's all sorts of options that will help you with prompting in different styles and types of videos. I'll use those in a minute, but I'll start with something simple in the prompt box. Now, it can create videos basically as long as you want, but I'll stick to shorter ones so this doesn't get too long showcasing all these. Create a 30 second video about an alternate history where aliens built the pyramids. Although that's probably the real history. From there, click generate a video. It will think for a minute, then pop up with a few options to help with the tone and direction. I'll do realistic for history buffs and YouTube. Then right here, I can choose between stock media, which will pull in various stock clips or generative media where it will generate every clip. This is what I want. Then I'll click continue. Now it will start to generate. It will write a script, find music and voices, generate all the clips, then edit everything together. The timing will vary depending on what time of day you use this and how busy the platform is. Then in a little while, you'll have the full video. And just from this first frame, you can see it does a good job with text. Pyramid paradigm looks perfect here. Let's watch this full thing through. I'm Dr. Sarah Kensington, and I, I never believed in ancient astronaut theories. Until now, deep within the Great Pyramid, we found this artifact of impossible origin. Visions flooded my mind. Beings of light building pyramids in days, not decades. Massive ships descended from the stars. Everything we thought we knew about our past has just changed forever. That was great. It was a little different than what I had in my head. I was thinking of a historical documentary style, but it went with more of a short film. I didn't specify any of that in the prompt, so that's a good tip. Just like with any AI platform, make sure you're specific with your prompting to get what you want. But beyond that, the voice had some decent emotion and inflection in it. Not just a generic monotone AI voice, and the music fit really well. The clips had a lot of motion in them. The people looked pretty realistic. There were no major morphing issues. Overall, that was really solid. From here, you can edit this further by by typing in this prompt box to change the voiceover, script, scenes you didn't like, the music, add captions, things like that, all done conversationally. You can also click this edit button for more specific editing of the script, clips, or music. You can even replace the voiceover with your own voice or switch it to different languages. I'll get into all that later, but I wanna go through a couple more examples first. So this time I wanna do something vertical for short form. How about something with stoicism? That's a niche I see people using AI for sometimes. Create a short video about stoicism. Start with the best Marcus Aurelius quote, then explain what it means and how it can be applied to your life. I'll try that. I need to switch to generative media. This time I'll try animation, 30 seconds again, and YouTube shorts, so it will be vertical. Then continue. It's all finished. Again, this has some text at the beginning that looks perfect and has a really nice font. Let's check this out. I've often pondered Marcus Aurelius' words. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This profound statement captures the essence of Stoicism. What we're really dealing with here is the impact our inner dialogue has on our well-being. The challenge is maintaining a positive mental state in a chaotic world, but when we internalize this idea, we see that happiness isn't dictated by circumstances, but by our perceptions and responses. It's about becoming architects of our mental landscapes, constructing thoughts that serve us. In practice, this means reframing negatives as growth opportunities and focusing on what we can control. The voiceover and music were very fitting. For the video, there were some really nice shots in there. All of them were aligned with what the voiceover was saying. And I really like some of the ways it chose to visualize that. I also thought that was a great style of animation it used. And it had captions that were engaging, but not over the top. That was really good, especially since all I did was write two sentences. That's pretty crazy. Again, you can go into the editing here to change things, which I'll do in the next one so I can show how it works. But that one's already ready to go. So back at the home screen, before I get to all these presets, another cool thing it can do is generate based off of a link you send. So create a 30 second YouTube video using this article. Then here's an article about the Great Emu War in Australia. Yes, that's a real thing and they lost. So I will paste that link in here and submit. Now it will go to that link, summarize the article and transform it into a script. I'll switch to generative media, animation, that's good, continue. 
All right, it's all done. Let's see how it did. What's up, bros? Bros. Actually, right off the bat, I don't like the direction of the voiceover at all. So down in the prompt box, I will say redo the script to make it more professional. Easy as that. Got it changed. Here it is. In 1932, Australia faced an unusual challenge known as the Great... So far, that is much better, but I'm not a fan of this first shot. I think that was to go along with the original direction it had. I could ask it to switch that out in the prompt box, but I want to show the other features, so I'll open up the edit window and do it manually. So here's all the shots it used. I'll find that first one. To switch it out, I could click this refresh button and it will go through different stock clips that will fit, or I can go to generative media and I could select from previously generated shots, or if I click right here, I can type my own prompt in. Close up of an emu. That should work. Then make sure in the style of this video is checked and I'll generate. This takes a little bit and here's what it came back with. That looks good and you can hear the sound effects it has underneath as well. Those little sound effects can add a lot to the overall video. So I'll save that and see it in context. In 1932, Australia faced an unusual challenge known as the Great Emu War. So now it hangs out on that clip a little too long and started to loop it. I want to ask in the prompt box for it to fix that. Make the editing faster at the beginning, keep the voiceover the same, but add another clip so the cuts are faster. I'll see if that works. Now that should be all done, but I want to show some of these other tabs while we're here. Over on the music tab, you can change that out if you want. The song it chose worked for me, but it's really easy to switch out if you need to. Then under script, you can make fine grained edits to any part of the script. I already used the prompt box to do a full overhaul, but you can change any little details you want and it will regenerate that part of the voiceover. Then settings has some presets you can use to apply to the video, like light leaks and particle effects. Those can add a lot of depth depending on what type of video you're making. Then there's transition, subtitle, and text presets. You can also go to media properties to make small edits to specific clips. Now back to the main video, I do have one final touch to try since this was in Australia. Change the voiceover to an Australian accent. Now let's watch this whole thing. In 1932, Australia faced an unusual challenge known as the Great Emu War. Farmers in Western Australia were struggling as emus began to devastate their crops. In response, the government deployed military personnel to address the issue. Major GPW Meredith led the operation, equipped with machine guns to control the emu population. However, the emus proved to be highly elusive, evading gunfire and rendering the efforts largely ineffective. Ultimately, the emus prevailed, and farmers resorted to building fences to protect their crops. The Great Emu War remains a notable example of the challenges faced in wildlife management. Really solid again. Now, back to the home page. I want to try out one of the flows they have. I'll open them up. There's a lot to choose from. You can start from a script. There's ads, cinematic, animated, or horror films. I'll try an animated short. So it fills out the style part of the prompt for me. Then for the topic, an owl named Buzz Aldrin, who teaches children about the solar system. Buzz flies to each of the planets and explains them at a kindergarten level. Now for style, there's a bunch of good ones. Lego, Minecraft, Claymation is cool. Lots of different types of anime, but I'll do Disney Pixar. Then there's other settings you can customize, like I could do background music, playful and ethereal. Then all these others you could choose to customize if you want. I'll leave it like that and continue. Then it puts that all into the prompt box. I could still make changes if I want, or I'll click generate. Now I'll switch to one minute, which is probably still too short to cover all the planets in, but this is just an example. All right, it's done generating, and that's actually a really good title page. So I'll just play the whole thing and see how it did. Hoo-hoo, I'm Buzz Aldrin, your feathered friend of the cosmos. Today we're zooming through our solar system. Mercury's small and close to the sun, while Venus is hot like an oven. Earth, our home, is the only planet we know with life. Mars is red and dusty with volcanoes reaching for the stars. Jupiter's huge with swirling storms, and Saturn's got those fancy rings. Uranus rolls like a ball, and Neptune's a windy blue giant. Wow, our solar system is as amazing as your imagination. Remember, little ones, the universe is as big as your dreams. That did a great job. It kept a pretty consistent character for Buzz Aldrin across scenes. It made it through every planet in that short amount of time too, with a nice fact about each. And just a really quick note with the consistent characters, when you wanna switch out a clip, it will actually have a name of each character. Then you can click that to apply that to other generations and use that same character throughout. 
And now really quick, I wanna show how I can switch that out to my own voice and different languages. To use my voice, I'll go to the drop down, click voices, then add voice. Now you need to upload a recording that meets these requirements, at least 30 seconds, has this sentence giving permission, speak normally and make sure it's high quality. So I'll upload mine, check all the boxes and submit. It works really quick. Mine took around 15 seconds. Now I'll just give it a name. Then back to my project. In the prompt box, I can type change the voice to Kevin. And here's what that sounds like. I'm Buzz Aldrin, your feathered friend of the cosmos. It's a pretty solid match and I can change this to over 50 different languages. Change the voiceover to Spanish. Hola, soy Buzz Aldrin, tu amigo emplumado del cosmos. How about Russian? Привет, друзья, я Buzz Aldrin, ваш пернатый друг из космоса. Hindi. Namaste, dosto. Main hu Buzz Aldrin. Or maybe French. Salut les amis. Je suis Buzz Aldrin, votre ami à plume venu tout droit de l'espace. So that's a really cool feature. Now I want to just let a few play on the screen that they posted on X. They did also post the prompts to most of these too. So you can do a lot of cool stuff with this. The possibilities are endless. And you can try NVIDIA AI for free, but if you want to use their generative capabilities like this, I recommend that you go for the generative plan that starts at $96 a month. It's the one I've been using here and gives you 15 generative minutes, which is the most bang for your buck out of these. If you're already an NVIDIA user, you can also just go to the add-on section and buy generative seconds. So go give it a try. The link is down in the description. This is a ton of fun to play with. There's a lot of use cases for it, and I appreciate them sponsoring this video. And of course, make sure to check Check out futurepedia.io to find the best AI tool for any use case, save favorites to your profile, browse a curated list of AI tutorials, stay up to date with AI innovations, and sign up for the free newsletter to get AI tools, news, and tutorials straight to your inbox. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.